crew of Bakers was here at the 9th edition of the Dubai International Film Festival and later we caught up with the director of the movie, Mr. Karzan Kadar. We are here with the director of Bakers, Mr. Karzan Kadar. Hello, Mr. Karzan. Hello, hi. Can you tell us a little about your film, Bakers, please? Uh, Bakers uh, is a story about uh, two little brothers, uh, Zana Dana, uh, who lives in a little village in Kurdistan in uh, Iraq. And um, uh, they, they are Bakers, they have no parents, no, they, they only have each other. So one day uh, in the village they see Superman's film in the cinema and they believe that Superman is for real and because of uh, his speaking English he lives uh, in, uh, in America. So they're making a big project and plan to, to get to America to meet Superman and uh, to tell, uh, bring him back to Kurdistan to get rid of Saddam and, and his army. And uh, the plan is to, to go to America on a, on a donkey. So um, uh, it's an adventure, uh, drama, comedy. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's a nice warm film. Uh, how did the title Bakers come about? Uh, you know, the thing is, uh, in the war, a lot of people became bakers. Um, be, uh, you know, uh, they lost their, par their, their families and uh, the boys has uh, only each other. And the worst thing can happen to them is that they get separated. And one of them is going to be bakers if uh, the other one dies or, uh, you know. So it's a very strong word and very respected word in Kurdish. And... Uh, uh, the world needs to know uh, the word Bekas and what happened, uh, what happened in Kurdistan uh, in, uh, in the war and how many people became, actually became Bekas. Uh, you've had so many problems while shooting the film. Didn't you ever feel like giving up midway? Uh, you know, I had a lot of problems. I had a lot of every day, every day, because it's not easy to make your first feature film going back to Iraq, to Kurdistan, to make the film and having 100% uh, amateurs in front of a camera and having two kids who leads the film, uh, the lead actors and uh, having Animal who's a, a donkey, who's uh, almost 70% of the film is in picture. It's not an easy job, but you know, uh, I never thought about giving up because you know, that, that was my war and uh, I win my wars, I don't lose them. So how has the whole experience of the Dubai Film Festival been so far for you? Well, I can say this in one word, amazing. It's beautiful, it's, uh, you know, um, everybody's so kind and, and I'm loving being here. Everybody talks about film and that's the, the great thing and, and, you know, being in one place and having so many, many people talking about film, 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 film and film and that's a huge thing, that's my life. And uh, uh, this is my first time being here and uh, uh, to be part of Dubai International Film Festival is a huge part of my life right now because you know it's my first time and it's my first future film and um, you know I'm enjoying every second and the boys are, are here too and uh, they never left Kurdistan before this is the first time ever in their life they're living uh, going outside Kurdistan and being the, the Dubai being the first place they're visiting is a huge part it's a big deal for them with camera crew Sahitya Shetty and Kevin Sebastian, this is Zubi Shoaib from Dubai International Film Festival for Manipal Dubai TV.